Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So today uh, we are working on this Volkswagen Passat, uh, 2012 I believe, uh, two liter diesel, new customer. And he phoned me up, um, I was recommended to him, uh, asked me to change the cum belt. Uh, the cum belt was replaced about 50,000 miles ago. So, okay, well, a little bit early, but, um, you know, if you're looking after your car, fair enough, 50,000. Now, the reason why he asked me to change the, the cum belt is because there's a ticky noise around the cum belt area, drive belt area. Um, I bought the kit, so in advance, so I bought the kit, already have the kit uh, ready, to, ready to go. And he popped by a couple of days ago just to meet me up, uh, to see the shop and meet me up for the first time. And I'm not quite sure it's going to be a cum belt uh, issue. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, the noise. I'm going to uh, start the car. But I believe it's probably, well, I don't know, the drive belt area. I'm going to check the alternator pulleys, all the pulleys. AC compressor uh, for any shoe and what else uh, oh yeah another thing when I was listening to the noise I used the old trick with a screwdriver I asked him to put the aircon on and it obviously is not coming on so maybe something there maybe but let me start the car and then you guys can have a listen if you're going to be able to hear from here. So you can probably hear that. Um, put the aircon on, nothing changes, no changing noise. Yeah, nothing, can't hear anything. So turn that off. Let me open the bonnet. Uh, so I hope you guys can hear over the phone there, over the, the microphone, but it seems to be coming from this area. Another thing that I've noticed, I think that outside part of the, the compressor should be spinning, but I'm not 100% sure. It's hard to tell. It's hard to focus on that. Let's see if I can get there we go. I think that should be spinning. I might, I might be wrong. So there you go. That's the noise. Um, just gonna jack the car up, remove the wheel, the wheel arch liner, the under tray, remove the belt, and see if we can find anything, um, you know, out of place. Um, anyway, we have the the cum belt kit just in case, but. Uh, well, let's see what, what we find. All right, really nice how Volkswagen did this panel here. Very easy to remove. It gives you great access to, to the pulley here. So 16 mil, I believe. And I've got a little pin just to insert that on the right place if I can see it. Uh, I probably need the light a little bit closer. Oh yeah, there. Just a drill bit. Now, correct over the drive belt. I can see some signs of wear there on the compressor. Okay, you guys, a little bit closer in a sec. All right, belt's off. Uh, there we go. So, tensioner, pulley, good. Okay, here's some noise in the compressor there. And the alternator, fine. It's not locked up like the freewheeling is working. But on the compressor here, get you close in a little bit. I can see marks there, signs of wear there. And that, I think it, the noise that we were 
Oh, here so it's catching there. Uh, the compressor seems to be seized. It's not moving at all. I put the quickly the engine on just to see if the the noise is going to change. But I think that's what it is. I think we found it. All right, so nice and quiet now. Definitely not making that noise again. Well, not making that noise anymore. Well, yeah, I don't know. I think that's definitely it. Let me remove this. Well, I don't know if it's the clutch system here. Yeah, let me remove that. G30. to pry that off a little bit. So it should be a bit stuck there. These other ones here. That's not interesting. I think that should be just one piece. I might be wrong. Right, let me get from the top a little bit. Jesus, this thing seems to be stuck there. It's moving a little bit. Huh? Nearly there. Ah, there we go. Yeah, that was definitely cutting. Cutting there, making a heck of a noise. Oh hey, well. Uh, yeah, the shaft is totally seized on the compressor. Uh, well, at least it's a good thing that we obviously didn't change the gun belt for, for nothing, I'd say. But I think the compressor is quite expensive. I don't know if the customer is going to be happy about that. Anyway, I'm going to remove this cover now. Remove the compressor. Uh, well, let's find the customer see what he wants to do. Remove this cover, remove the compressor. Um, if he goes ahead. And replace it. Right, excellent. Customer wants to go ahead with it. Change the compressor. I just ordered one. Just ordered one. I might have to pick it up.
but uh, there is a surcharge for it, so I'm gonna try to remove this quick. I don't know if you guys can see this far up, but I'm gonna remove this turbo pipe, intercooler pipe. That's done. It's dripping a little bit of oil there, as usual. Now we have three 30 millimeter on a on a compressor and a plug. I think. Of, uh... All right. So I quickly check the uh, air conditioning system to see if there's any any gas with my gauge. There's nothing. See, absolutely nothing. Just. A little bit of a little bit of pressure there, but nothing really. System's empty. Yeah, so I'm gonna remove the two connectors there. I don't know if you guys can see that well. It's gonna be difficult to some so many pipes in a way. But I'm gonna try to show you. Oh, it seems like I got it on there. At least to break the bolt loose. This broke loose. Should be able to do it by hand now. I'm gonna drop the socket. I oh, got it. There we go. Maybe you can see a little bit better there, but removing that pipe, it's gonna review the other one. Got it. So that pipe out the way. Now we can see the other the other bolts. That's gonna be a little bit more straightforward. Two bolts removed. This part. I have to do it from underneath actually. Yeah, I'll do that from underneath. So three bolts, plug, remove that pipe, and we are golden. Right, so that's the plug. Above the plug, you can see a bolt just there. Just above the plug, so that's one of them. And the other two on the side here is pretty easy. So one there, one at the top. And pretty much it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you guys, but I'm gonna use my trusty 30 mm, 30 millimeter like swan egg uh, spanner let's see how we get on All right, plugs removed 13 mil gonna expect the, the compressor now it looks super clean now the worry is is any with the failure is there any 
debris inside the system at all. Yeah, so inspecting here, can't see any debris at all. There might be one in here, but I think I put it out there. Was it there? No, it's not. It's just a hole. So yeah, I can't see, can't see any debris there. Can not see any debris inside, so pretty clean to me. So just gonna go ahead, get another compressor, do the replacement, bag oil, and then you're gonna have to take, ask the, the, the customer to take to a garage where they can fill it up the, uh, with gas, because I, I haven't got the tools yet, but I was in conversation with my friend Ian, Automotive Solutions today. Um, I just got a um, manifold gauge, electronic one, I've got a, a vacuum uh, vacuum pump and I want to I wanna start you know being able to do this sort of job because if you have to replace a you know a compressor pretty bagged really so anyway let me go and get the, the, another compressor and I'll see you in a bit all right and we are back what a struggle to to get a compressor um, I had one delivered and it was the incorrect one. And I found another one from GSF. Uh, it comes with a seal, which is good. So we can replace the seal on a, on a pipe there. And it looks slightly different here, but when I spoke to the guys at Euro Car Parts, they said it was uh, you know, obviously aftermarket, so it should be okay. And I had a chat with them. It seems to be a bit of a, it seems to be a little bit of a problem at the moment to to get parts. And I'm not sure exactly why, but uh, seem seems like here in the UK we're struggling for. For few of the minute, so everyone's going crazy. All right, so that's over there. And so we have new bolts, which is nice. Yeah, they said they really struggling to get like clutch parts and so on. All right. I believe this pin shouldn't be here really. We don't need a pin here. It's actually for the big one, so we already have a pin on the actual pipe there. I don't know if this is removable, I guess it would be. Oh yeah, it is. So that's all good. Now all we need to do, 160 mil of bag 46. 140, 150 there. So 60, 70, 80, 90, 200, so just a tiny bit more. There. So let me just pour it a little bit here to see it. So I have to press that little, seems to be like a valve. We draw the bag 46. So at this point guys, we are ready uh, to fit back in the car. Just gonna replace the, the O-rings. As you can see here, this, the whole shaft, including the center one, moves and the other one was just seized up in place.
all done. There you go. I just need to pull the covers back, but uh, yeah, fits perfectly. Let's start the car. Just see if everything is okay. And finish this video. There we go. This will be quite good. Quiet. And yeah, happy days. So there you go guys, went pretty well. Uh, I've got to deliver the car now. The owner just needs to uh, regas it and it should be good to go. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have any comments, just leave it below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.